What's up, everybody? Happy Sunday. I'm outside today next to a highway, so just please excuse any extra noise. Thanks you for being here. Today is Sunday, August 8th. We're going to start out with a little music. Sunday opening song for today, August 8th. Thank you all for being here. I have to check my notes because I get all over the place. Um, let me come down here. A lot of beautiful people in the chat already. I appreciate you all being here. Tried to get the phone thing working today again in the hot spot. Just more practice. I just need more practice on that. Um, I wanted to pull this up so I can get better at this uh, mission statement thing. If I could find it. I can't find it. Well, if you're new here, thank you for being here. My name is Marshall and I run Mellow Nomadic Adventures. I appreciate you being here and taking time out of your day to come and check out what my channel's about. So we are beside my camper van. A little messy today. Not really. But um, I did add some new stickers. I'm going to be getting into that. So I'm excited about that. And if you're new here, my channel is about my minivan camper conversion, how I'm traveling around to the national and state parks, handing out stickers if I see you on the road. Actually, this is a mem members only sticker, but um, traveling around to the national parks in this minivan that I converted into a camper van. And my goal is to go to as many national parks as I can and as many meetups as I can, hopefully meet up with you amazing people out there. Um, today, I am rocking another Mellow Nomadic Adventures uh, merchandise shirt. Love these shirts. Love this design. Thank you, Daryl with Van City Adventures for helping me designing my logo and everything. Today I'm drinking Meyer natural spring water. I'm not sponsored. But it's really good. Sometimes I'll use those little packets. And I actually found these really good um, from Welch's that contain no aspartame. So that's really exciting. As you know, that's a cancer carcinogen. So stay away from the aspartame. Um, getting off course, though. Getting off course. Um, so, yes, my channel is about me traveling around in this camper van, going to some meetups. Today, I'm going to share some photos of my recent trip. If you've seen the thumbnail, that's uh, when I, a recent trip I went to West Virginia to New River Gorge. That was a really fun time. And let me come back here. All right, now I'm going to come over here to the chat, say hi to everyone, um, if I can find it, here we go. Welcome, uh, Redheaded Riding Hood, thank you for being here, Dyson's Crazy Adventures, thank you for being here, uh, Van Life with Gina, thank you for sharing out uh, the stream, and Water Girl Family Adventures, thank you for um, becoming a member again, I appreciate you. And actually, I have something cool I could play for you. Where was this at? Oh, they kind of redid this. Hmm. Okay. For you, I'm going to play. Hope this is the right one. And I forgot to put the thank you on that. I need to. I need to get get to editing those. Um, 
but thank you, Jennifer. Hope you and Johnny are doing great down there in Tennessee. And Mobang, Tim, thanks for, for catching uh, the pre pre show. I appreciate that. Dropping in, dropping off a like as you do your DoorDash thing. And Ford Man, aka Kenneth Oaks, is in the house. Uh, on a scale of one to 10, I give Ford Man a 10. If you haven't checked out his channel, go check out his channel. I had the pleasure to meet Ford Man, so that was really awesome. We had some Chinese food at the China House. Um, Robert, RV Weekends, good to see you. I have a sneeze coming on. <coughs> Woo! Excuse me, I apologize for that. Uh, here we go, back into it. Y'all are silly talking about. Okay, Red Sun is starting some van life. That's awesome, Red. Welcome, Kathy, KT Spirit. Thank you for being here, and thank you for commenting on my post. And Red, that's awesome that he already has the solar panels and power station. So I didn't mean to. And Joy Bless Life. Hey, how are you all down in Tennessee? Good to have you watching. Uh, Wayne, let me know, did you ever get your package that I sent you? Um let me know about that. Kathy's got her hands full. Oh, awesome. He put his stickers on the back of his truck. So actually, I don't know if can you see from this view. I added. I'll take you in there in a second. I wanted to do it outside. Look at the, my parents' crepe myrtle back there. Blooming away. If I can get out of the way. Look at that big, big guy back there. Or girl. But um, Becky Allen, thank you for being here. It's good to see you. And nursing our travel bug, Bill and Natasha. Great interview, by the way, over with uh, Steve Turtle the other day, Friday night. Sean S., good afternoon. How are you doing today? And awesome, exciting news right there. Robert uh, was going to Mayberry, so that, that is super awesome. I'm excited to meet up with you. Uh, I honestly have wanted to to make it down to florida and check out key west and i know you have that big trip coming up um i just i don't know if i could do it because i have these meetups that are up this way so you know but i'm excited though that you're coming to mayberry i just think that my florida trip personally would be a little bit different time maybe next year unfortunately or maybe after mayberry who knows uh let's see tgif thank you for being here brie I appreciate you. Thank you all to uh, thanks to all my moderators and Doreen. Thank you for being here. I'm on the phone out of campground. Welcome, Whiskey and Sunshine Off Grid. Love the name. Uh, thank you for being here. And Danny Griswold with Griswold Family Vacay. Thank you for being here, Danny. We are going to. I'm going to show you some photos from my trip of the campground. Um, kind of squinty today because it's so bright out here folk of the forest thanks for being here and wayne said not yet on the package um wayne i think i responded to your email or i think i emailed you um if not send me your address again let me just make you know let me confirm that i have the right address welcome t squad rving Oh my gosh, you all are awesome. Um, these are new things. Oh, I forgot what this first one was. Okay, those are super chats. I, I wanna play something really cool for you. Thank you, T-Squad RV. I need to... Um, rename those videos so i can find them a little bit faster but thank you t-squad rving angelo and his family over there at t-squad rving they have a really great channel um so thank you for becoming a member my friend looking forward to running into you all on the road as well doing collaborations so uh going out on the road it, it's kind of got many different arms to it uh, you have the national parks part of the goal and then the meetups that are happening and there's those are going to kind of be happening one after another 
basically in between the meetups, I'm trying to do national parks. And then there's also meetups where it's just, uh, maybe it's not such a big thing. Uh, for example, I met up with Tina's the outsider. I met up with four man, AKA Kenneth Oaks. So, um, sometimes these smaller meetups, I, I love the smaller meetups too. So, um, I am going to, um, be sharing more of my route here in a little bit. Don't let me forget. I'm going to share my kind of a loose route of where I'm going. I'll be at Branton. I'll be at M21 doing the Mayberry thing, but in between, um, a lot of national parks and, uh, definitely looking for others who may want to either caravan along, uh, at the same time, uh, who are also interested in national parks and others who might be along the routes of those journeys. So I'll be getting to that in just a second, but thank you T squad. Um, thank you, red bless you too. Oh uh, yeah, that's right. I sneezed. Thank you. Thank you, Sean, uh, Diane Phoenix in the house. Thank you for being here, Diane. Oh, no worries. Uh, I appreciate you signing up for another month. I really appreciate you, Jennifer. And we have these steady bees. They like to just fly around. Do you all have those where you're at? I think I've asked that before. Make sure I didn't miss anybody coming in. Uh, I do have a stream elements timer is what they're, what it's called. It's kind of like a, a robot. It drops links for me. Uh, Lots of great links there. All right, let me come back down and keep going, keep going. Uh, Robert Mack in Asia, I seen you commented earlier, so thank you for being here super early. Oh, cool, Wisconsin Dells. I've not heard of that part of Wisconsin. Let me make a little note. So I did a kind of decent little welcome. Uh, thank you all for being here. I think I did that mission statement. A little of my backstory as I'm looking through. Uh, Ava Potterfield and friends, welcome to the chat. Happy Sunday to everyone. Uh, a little of my backstory for uh, those who, who may not have heard this part. Um, so I worked in restaurants for 20 years, starting when I was 16. Started as a dishwasher, worked my way up. I did about 10 of those years as a manager. And after 20 years in restaurants, I just, you know, the, re the schedule of someone who works in a restaurant is not the greatest. You're working a lot of second shift hours, a lot of 10 hour shifts, 12 hour shifts, a lot of weekends, a lot of holidays, missing time. Uh, spent with family and other people you care about and it's just after 20 years of that I said enough was enough and I decided to follow my dream and become a filmmaker and that's kind of what I do in my day job so at my day job I work in the film and television industry and I'm a freelance worker so I don't have like one large company I work for I work for several different other companies smaller companies and production companies uh, within those companies, uh, you know, they do different things. Some do commercials, some do television, some are more focused on movies. Um, and I love the flexibility and being able to kind of jump around and work in, in all three. So, uh, but lately I've been working in the commercial realm because I've wanted to, to spend more time focusing on my own stories. And so I'm really excited. Um, part of the Mellow Nomadic Adventures goal as I start this uh, traveling is to complete my script. So I started a script a long time ago and it just got put aside, forgotten about, picked back up, forgotten about. And so whether it's that script in particular, or maybe it's some new uh, scripts that I put together, I, I want to write my own stories and create my own projects. So I'm taking a step back from the film world, I'll still do a film if the opportunity is right, the location's right, the pay's right, the people are right, the story's right. Um, but the commercials, they just pay way better. So that brings me to uh, some good news. I just booked a commercial and I can't say with who yet. 
some of you may know, but if not, uh, I can't spill the beans just yet. Um, but it's a, a pretty large uh, client for uh, state in the state of Kentucky. So I'm excited about that. That'll be coming up. That'll be right before the Branson meetup, um, which is happening at the end of this month. So uh, here in the next couple of weeks, I'll be working on this uh, three or four day commercial. And that's going to be really great um, just to have that income coming in. So um, that's kind of what I do. I work in film and TV and there's my dad back there walking around. We have moles everywhere here and um, he's stomping down, stomping down their holes, their paths. But yeah, so I work in film and TV at my day job uh, and because I'm freelance, I can pick and choose which jobs I want to work. Um, and also the pay is, is pretty decent now. I didn't just jump in and get and start right uh, at the position I'm at. I started actually just doing photography for free on film sets. And that's how I got started. And actually, even before that, I was an, an extra in a movie called uh, Where Hope Grows. So the movie's called Where Hope Grows, and it's a really inspirational, uplifting movie. I was an extra in it. They filmed it in downtown Louisville. That was my first taste of movie making. And from there, um, I just kept pursuing it and worked my way into the art department, which is where uh, we deal with the set and the props. So that's a, a lot of fun. I get to build things. And when the pandemic hit, I had a lot of time. So I thought, you know, I've not been able to travel as much as I've, I'd like to. So I was inspired by the nomadic movement. Uh, van City Van Life was a huge inspiration as well. Um, leave everything and wander another huge inspiration channel they're italian but they're really awesome um lex and riot i mean this was at the beginning of 2020 um love that channel and there was another one uh, those were like the early inspiration channels and then along the way i i started my youtube channel this youtube channel in august of 2020 and then i did like a video release in november but it was just of like driving footage and it wasn't really that you know entertaining honestly uh, it showed off some some nice scenery in kentucky but um, it wasn't until christmas of 2020 that i started posting consistently and since since then i've posted or gone live every week so there's been a lot of weeks where i haven't had a video and i'm just a slacker what can i say uh, i've mentioned this before the editing can get super tedious um it's it's really about time to upgrade my laptop because this is an early 2014 macbook air generally apple products last about six years and then you're having to, to upgrade so they do that on purpose i think they do that on purpose to make you upgrade but uh, so this is now seven or eight i think this is the eighth year coming up on the eighth year so um i'm just keeping my fingers crossed that it's going to keep keep making it and doing work for me so um, that's kind of where I'm at on that. I'm wanting to focus on my own stories, and that's kind of my backstory. Um, so yeah, thank you all for being here. I'm just checking my my notes. I have a note for today uh, of things I want to talk about. So that's going to bring me to a, a good point to come back over into the chat, see what's going on with all of you all. Boondock Charlie's here in the house. Thanks for being here. And Kevin, no mock experience. Good to see you here, Kevin. Uh, chat jumped on me. Apologies, apologies. Uh, thank you, thank you, Becky Allen. Uh, thank you all for the well wishes and uh, congratulations on this job. It's just a little gig. I wasn't even going to take a gig. In fact, I turned down a gig uh, while I was traveling. Um, I kind of had to turn down the gig because I wasn't in town. But um, and Roy and Becky's travels in the house. Howdy, howdy. Thank you for being here. Yes, and that's what I'm focusing on is writing my own stories. And so I've been working in the film industry about six years. This is my seventh year now. So in that time, I went from working for free to now I'm working as an art director, props master sometimes, sometimes production designer. Of course, production designer is like the top tier for this department. So I'm hoping to get more, more jobs like that. Welcome, Graham and Janice. From Scotland, thank you all for being here, and uh, thank you all. 28, 
28 likes and 24 in the house. Thank you all for being here. Dan used to go to the Dells every summer. I wrote that down. I'm going to have to check that out because I've never heard of the Dells. Diamond66, YouTube channel. Thank you for being here. Mega love shout out. Thank you for sharing out this live stream. Um, Red watched the video I did with Tina. Thank you for watching that. I shared that on the community tab. Um, breakfast is done. We're catching up. We're catching up. Uh, Ford Man always has great uh, games on Friday nights. Or is it Friday nights? Yeah, I think it's Friday nights. And just trying to make sure I didn't miss anybody from earlier that came in. Uh, if I did miss you, apologies. Um, I've been on the fridge hunt. That's another thing. But before that, I, I do want to show you all some photos of the campground from West Virginia. That was a really fun trip. Thank you, T-Squad RVing. Uh, Kevin, appreciate you being here. It's great to see you. Sorry, I've been bad uh supporter and slacking on coming to people's videos uh, not on purpose i know i'm starting to sound like a broken record on that but i wish i could say everything here today but uh, i can't yet Oh, cool. Hope is a, a really great word, and the movie is Where Hope Grows. It's about a, um, a kind of washed-up baseball player who befriends a um, grocery store worker who has Down syndrome, works in the produce department at this grocery store, this little local store, and they become like really good friends, and it's, it's just a really heartwarming kind of story. So yeah, I was an extra in that. Welcome, Brandon. Thanks for being here. Good to see you. Uh, I was an extra in that when they had the bar scene. I'm actually uh, behind William Zap Zap Zapta Zapka, the guy. The uh, he was in Karate Kid. Um, Zapka Zapta. You you know what I'm talking about. He was the blonde bully in Karate Kid. I was sitting behind him. So if you watch Where Hope Grows, in the bar scene, they're at a table and I'm behind them, kind of in the background. It's it's a real quick second. Uh, split second. I'm in like a blue and white plaid shirt. But check it out. That was a lot of fun where hope grows um, Welcome how to garden good to see you here Lady bug out good to see you D. Thank you for being here Oh, that's cool. I've seen some really cool hope tattoos um, it's, It jumped on me Ron Darrow adventures Roy and Becky's Travels, thanks for being here. Thin Blue Lane, thanks for being here. Fairy Dust is in the house. Linda Barker, I uh, hope I didn't miss, if I missed you, now I'm saying hi now, Linda, so good to see you. I also wanted to show you all, I have the curtains down in the van, kind of show you uh, what I have set up there. I'm bad about the chat. <laughs> Did I go to Natural Bridge? I did not, Diane. I would like to go back. In fact, it's on my, so between M21 and Mayberry, I'm planning to go back to New River Gorge, and I'm planning on being back there during Bridge Day. Um, now, Natural Bridge, I would like to, I've not heard of that one. Now, we have one here in Kentucky. I didn't realize there was one in um, West Virginia, so I'm going to have to write that one down too, Natural Bridge. And then we'll put this down because I want to show you all update on the stickers. Um, and then I do want to get into these photos of my campground at the Riff Rafters, Riff Rafters Campground in West Virginia, where I stayed. I'm going to show you all my sticker board. I have some updated stickers on there today. Let me see if I can get this on a place. Yeah, like that. And we're going to jump across so I can show you, show you all the beautiful stickers here. Uh, John H. sent this over from Scotland, so I appreciate that, John H. it has got the Scotland flag with the American flag. That was really cool. Um, other new ones, I put Cadence on there from Van Seed Adventure. 
our RVing adventures. I didn't realize I covered that up. The great thing about just taping one there, you can kind of maneuver them around. So I just took some scotch tape and made my own double-sided tape and put these on here. So our RVing, our RVing adventures, that's a new one I put on there. Love that sticker. Where are we staying? They are hosting the M21 meetup in Michigan. So thank you for your sticker, Kevin. Donovan and Jody over at RV on the Wayside. Got your sticker on there. Thank you for that. Let's travel as friends. Uh, definitely excited about that. Tim with Time for Exploring. Love your sticker. Um, now, he did have it on a square background. I cut it out because I like to customize things. And Robert, RV Weekends, I appreciate you sending me. He sent me like, Robert, you sent me like too many stickers. Not, not really. I'll definitely use them. I appreciate it so much. He sent me like three stickers or four stickers. Uh, it's so awesome, Robert, because I think what I'm going to do is take one of them and cut the center circle out for maybe my laptop um i don't know also she devil adventures tommy thanks for your sticker they are looking great i think what do you let me know in the comments what do you think of the sticker board um also if there's anything you ever want to see in the van during a live just let me know i wanted to flip this around show you that i have the curtains down today and we just got some air coming through this is kind of what it looks like with the curtains down uh, this is storage down there. That's quite a bit of, of space. I don't know if you all can see. I don't really store anything much down there. Um, I've debated taking the console out there between the seats, but I think that's, I use that for a lot of storage and it's got my cup holders and I'm getting blown out. So I'm going to take you all back outside. I want to show you also my solar setup. I get it, got it going today. It's got the Jackery there close by. And the the neat thing about that solar panel is I can take this uh, phone cord and plug it right into the back of the solar panel and it charges. I don't, I don't need the Jackery at all to charge uh, my phone from the solar panel. So that's a really cool thing. Um, so we did. Uh, Still, I'm getting to those pictures from, in fact, I better pull that, pull that window up. Pictures from New River Gorge. The campground was really nice. Um, here we go. And while that pulls up, I'm going to come over here. Thank you all for being here. 27 in the house. And... Mm. Becky says I'm not a slacker. I, I just try to stay busy. And I'm gonna try to catch up here. I'm as you can see, still working on my live show. Uh, it's got a long way to go, but at least I hope that. Uh, Oh, my nose was itching. I hope I can keep y'all entertained. Welcome, Hope Bus. Thank you all for being being here, Victoria and Terry over there. Um, it's so great to see um, all the beautiful people here. Red says a sticker board needs to be bigger. <laughs> so does Diane second that. Yeah, and what I'm thinking about doing is maybe doing on the front of the shelf, having like overflow. Um, also I'm thinking of doing, um, beside the kitchen cabinet and I did get my handle. I ordered a special handle for my cabinet. I'm excited about that. Um, I think what I'm going to have to do since I'm switching out, this is a good little segue moment here. I guess we need a segue music and come over to the brand tab. Um, I want it to. When I come back, we're going to talk about um, fridge really fast for just a quick minute. But I'm going to play this because I have amazing support in this community that I never thought 
or never even knew um, was a possibility to be there. Um, so as a solo kind of nomad in training, it's kind of how I see myself because I'm still downsizing. I'm still selling things and, and trying to figure out what to do with things and figuring out how to, you know, what all I need to bring with me. So um, as I'm going through this journey, though, there's some incredible people who are uh, taking a little bit of an extra step in, in their support for me. And I just wanted to say thank you. To those people with this short, kind of short, it's only like a minute and a half. So if you all bear with me, this is a, um, and I need to make a new one, but for right now, um, thank you to all the members. Thank you so much to all the members and also a very special thanks to you. If you're watching this video right now, thank you for watching here. Thank you for being here too uh, and watching here. Now I'm going to share this and boom, there it goes. Okay. So these are some photos from the campground. I wanted to show you, uh, I've not posted these really anywhere yet. Um, this is the Riff Rafters campground. And there was no one else in this middle, this middle area. Let me see, can I make this? Now these are unedited. These are straight from the, the iCloud, from the iPhone. Um, okay, this is a raw video clip. Okay, that was going to be a pan up that I don't think I'm going to use. This is probably take two. We're not going to go through every single clip, but this is the campground. Now, I didn't light a fire. I got there. Oh, I probably got there about, there was probably about an hour left of daylight at this point. It was pretty late in the day. A lot of people were like winding down. Here's, here's me in the van. This is me chilling. Now, this is taken with a timer. Uh, this is... You're seeing special behind the scenes of me figuring out how to take a picture of myself with my van. Now, this is using a mini tripod. And in fact, I want to show you all my tripod. This is the one I use. Take the phone off there. But I love this tripod. Now, it's not one of the cool ones like Gina has or some people have that are has the flexible feet. But... Uh, what I do like about it is that the feet collapse together like that, and I can use this as a monopod as I have my camera there, and they're just really small feet. And now this is a separate piece. I bought this. I can switch to a bigger tripod, or I can use it on a small tripod, but I like this. Uh, it's Manfrotto. Really cool. Designed in Italy. Shout out to Italy. Um, you hit this button. And you can turn it. So I, I use this tripod a lot. Also, I like because it's a small footprint. So if I'm like walking around at like um, an outside event, I can have this and just kind of have it. It gives me some steadiness. Um, so, yeah, this is the tripod I use. That was a tangent. I'm sorry. Um, back to the photos. So that's me. Oh, add the stream. That's me testing out. 
the 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 timer here i am again on the timer trying to demonstrate now see the camera flipped it here i am again this is a these are uh, rocking the flip-flops uh, and this is a view of the campground looking out towards the entrance beautiful wooded area and this building down here to your left that's the uh, campground office and we have me talking to the camera okay I do want to share this uh, this lady was rocking the pants Um, and the truck pulled in the, I wish you could, I wish they came out better. These were plaid polyester bell bottom pants she had on. Um, I wish I had a better photo, but yes, that was the campground. And of course, later we went on to see, or I went on to see, um, there's an un uncut clip of the bridge just to give you some idea of the scale of this bridge those are semi trucks going by uh, this bridge is massive huge bridge um, so this was a uh, from my trip to West Virginia I've, um, I'm behind on editing I'm just now getting to the mammoth cave footage which Tina already posted her video I shared that on the community tab so I'm excited to get into the West Virginia footage because I have some really great footage there and definitely recommend you all checking out West Virginia. I didn't realize it was so beautiful. Thank you, Ray, for listening while you drive. Um, I would love to have a sticker purple tube. Email me and you can send me emails here for sticker exchanges. If you would like one of my stickers, email me here. And I'm going to come through here and catch up on some comments that I might have missed. And Diane says the natural bridge in Virginia is even more beautiful. I-80 goes over top of the bridge. Okay. My, ooh, over a natural bridge? Wow. I'm going to have to definitely check that out. Uh, so thank you for letting me know about that natural bridge. Hey, welcome, Ronnie Braun. Thanks for being here. It's good to see you. Um, great to see everybody here in the chat. <laughs> um, let's see. And I have some other things I do want to discuss. Congratulations to Joy Bless Life on reaching their 1K, and also congratulations to then Blue Lane RV Life for becoming monetized. And um, if you missed in the description, I think I put it down there. The playlist spotlight for the first week of August was um, who was it? Do y'all remember? Well, they're in the they're in the, uh, the the description of this video. I think it's Dream on Wheels. If it's not, it could be Joy Bless Life. I don't know. It's a lot of info to keep up with sometimes. Uh, but do check out. Every week, I'm going to pick a, uh, a channel that uh, can use a little help with their playlist. So if that's you, feel free to email me. Let me know you need a little playlist love. And I will get you into one of the weeks coming up. Uh, and we're coming down. I'm going to come all the way down. Shabna, welcome. Thank you for being here. Ninth Element. I believe that's uh, Mindy over there. And I'm going to find my pick. I don't know where my pick went. We might have to just go pickless. Nope, found it. Nope, I didn't. That was a nickel. I'm going to have to get this fan kicking. We're heating up today. Um, let me know the temperature where you're at and where you're at. Because right here, we are at. Uh, Diamond 66, thank you for sharing out my video. We're at 88 degrees here. 
Water boy, thanks for being here. I had that pick. Ava says she's going, she's been pickless before. Welcome, uh, Living Like Larry. It's good to see you here. And I really thought that was, he says it's 88 degrees and sunny here in Ohio. Sounds like a great day, Larry. I don't know where the pick went. I'm going to play a little music. 88 in Indiana says Diane Phoenix. And Oh, Lady Bug Out's looking forward to the meetup in September. I am so excited you're going to be there, Lady Bug Out. Super excited to meet you in person and check out your van in person. Um, you have a really awesome van. Sometimes I wish my van was as awesome as yours and some of these others out there. But you know, you got to start with where you're at. Do not get discouraged. Start with where you're at. Thank you, Redheaded Riding Hood, for your $5 super chat. I'm going to brand it. Uh, where's it go? Thank you so much, Red. And Spaceman Dudley says it's 89 East Tennessee. So we're all kind of around the same, same area a little bit. Um, I'm looking forward to meeting if you're meeting everyone. If you're going to be at the um, M21, super excited about that. A lot of cool channels are going to be there. Too hot to be running a chainsaw, that is for sure. Now, this shirt, I, I kind of like the blue one better, but I want it to do a yellow one. I'm going to let y'all see the back. kind of what the shirt looks like. This is my brand new, this was a chair actually I got for free. It's kind of camouflage. This was, wouldn't be my first pick. However, it was a free chair left over from a movie. And hey, you can't beat free. <laughs> so. Awesome. I appreciate y'all just hanging out with me today. I didn't have a whole lot planned. I did want to show you that campground that was in the thumbnail. Uh, that was called Riff Rafters. Riff Rafters Campground. That is in West Virginia. Uh, they're very close to the Walmart there. We did a membership thank you. I've done some, a little music. I wanted to talk about... Something I don't mention. Sorry, there's a lizard that just keeps running on the wall over here. I want to talk about Shine a Light. This is a new segment in the channel spotlight. If I can find it. Okay, I found it. Now I just need to get it ready to share. And here we go. I'm going to share this. So I wanted to say a thank you to these awesome channels here. Let's see. Let me share this like this. This is my member spreadsheet. Want to say a big uh, shout out to these 
these channels. These are all channels here where I am a member. So I am a member uh, at all 12 of these, uh, all 12 of these channels. Love these channels. If you are looking for great channels to be a member and, and, and support, I would just like to recommend that you go um, check out these channels that I have listed here. Now, if these channels, if any of them are here in the chat, they may be saying their subs are not right. Now, I don't constantly update this spreadsheet on as far as number of subs. This is just how many you had when I signed up and I added you to this list. So don't think that I'm constantly updating this because uh, I'm not. It's just there kind of a, for a reference and, and to kind of show, wow, we have, I mean, if you think about it, I think Daryl's at, at like the 10K mark. There's like 20, 30K worth of, of subscribers here among us, among these great channels. So um, definitely go check them out. And I am using, this is a free um, online even. It's, you don't even have to download anything. This is a free uh, piece of software called Google Sheets. And I like Google Sheets because um, it helps you keep things in order. And so as you see here, I have all the channels listed. And then over here, I have their link. And when I hover over it, Guess what? It pops up their channel. It's really pretty, pretty awesome. So I can go to any of these and just go straight to their channel. And so while I'm doing a live stream or on someone else's live stream, I can have one of these sheets open for reference and help me remember things. But uh, definitely a shout out to these 12 channels. Thank you all for being awesome and inspiring me enough to want to join your channels because uh, that, that's what it takes uh, to get someone to join. So. Um, definitely a big thank you to, to you all. Um, I want to do something maybe more put together for those, but let me know if you like that I that I shared where I'm a member. If you like knowing that I'm a member at all these places. I mean, it's not all. I mean, it's not like, I mean, that is all of them, but I don't mean it like it's a small amount. Cause it's, it's, I feel like it's a lot of places, but I really like those channels. Um, and so I wanted to try to support them. Uh, let's see. We're going to come back down. So that's where I am a member. That was a new little segment. And reminder to, uh, or first thank you to my moderators and reminder that there is an Instagram group just for moderators. Awesome. Yep. Hope that uh, it's nice to, to know if I can inspire you or inspire someone else out there to, to make a list because I'm all about the lists. Doreen's working on the camper, putting Reflectix on the windows with Velcro. Huge difference. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome, uh, Doreen. Your channel's doing great, by the way, Doreen. And uh, Ninth Element, so great to see you here in the house today. Uh, still working on my, my live stream, so I do appreciate you all being here and having the patience. We have about 12 more minutes left. And thank you, Ava says nice shirt. And they are going to descend on Ben. So that uh, I'm guessing that's a Texas event. So really cool to see, see everybody here. Um, so definitely if you are a moderator, I appreciate you. Um, I was hoping on van life mode was going to be here, here in the house today. The weirdest thing was happening the other day. I was going to add uh, a couple moderators. For example, I went to add boondock Charlie, which if you're there, I was going to add you as a moderator. And when I put in the link to your channel, it popped up camo Dave. I have no idea. I have no idea. So I, I wasn't able to do it. I'm going to have to wait till I see you in the chat to, uh, to add you that girl, that girl, Prenny, thanks for being here.
they say it's an Oregon event. Huge Volkswagen school and van life meetup and Honda Elements. All right, cool. Ooh. Uh, Doreen's working inside the camper with the AC on two. Too hot to work outside. Yep. Stay cool if it's hot where you're at. There have been several heat warnings going around. So uh, definitely prayers up for everyone out there in Arizona and out wet. Not Arizona. Well, yes, in Arizona, but uh, California and everywhere out west. Uh, Oregon and Washington, where there may be wildfires blazing. Um, oh, thank you, Becky. I'm going to try to do something a little more special uh, and put together some at some time. Uh, so, Larry, I am in Kentucky. I'm about, st I'm still down here at my parents' place. They are about mm, 15, 20 miles from Mammoth Cave. So we're, we're real close to the Green River, and we're really close to Nolan uh, State Park. It's really beautiful. Um, appreciate it, Ninth Element. So the rest of my day today, I'm going to try to order a fridge, which brings me to my next segment. Thank you, Hope Bus, and thank you, Victoria and Terry over there at Hope Bus. They have a wonderful bus conversion going on. Love their bus. Uh you probably heard me say it before, but I'm say it again. Love their skylight in their shower. If you've not seen the video, go watch the video. Skylight in the shower. Um, I was going to get a, I'm still considering getting a, like a six by 12 trailer. So I had a hitch put on the van so I can pull uh, a small trailer with it. That way I can be able to take some tools and be able to work my freelance filmmaking job on the road. Um, if I find, you know, find some gigs on the road. So, um, that's something that I'm looking at doing. I was hoping to ha already have that bought and built out by now, but things universe didn't have uh, the same plan. So that's okay. You, you pivot and you just keep moving forward. So what I'm deciding now is uh, I want to get this as a safe self-contained unit to have everything I need. My fridge. Um, really the fridge is the only thing I'm kind of waiting on. I have everything else that I need. I have water way to cook fuel for, for the stove way to recharge things um so i'm feeling really confident with with the van i just i want a way to uh be able to store some food so i do like to cook so i want to be able to have a way to, to maybe take some some frozen food some frozen meat that, I, that then i can thaw out at the campground and then by the time it's lunch or dinner I, i'll be able to uh cook a nice meal do some cooking video so um i'm here until um, well, this week coming up, I'll be heading back to Louisville because I have that job, that three day, um, little commercial, four day, little commercial. And then the last, the third or the fourth week of this month, I'll be heading to Branson, the Branson meetup. That's where I'm going. Um, also hoping to stop at the Gateway Arch National Park, get another stamp in the book, and check that out. And actually, it was uh, one of my uh, cousins worked on that. And it was originally being constructed. Um, so that I think that would be really cool to see, you know, that Gateway Arch. And... Welcome traveling donkeys. And Spaceman Dudley says Duffield, not midfield. Okay, I missed something there. <clears throat> um, let's see. Welcome everybody who may be on Facebook. I don't think we had anyone on Facebook today. Ninth Element says the fridge in my car was a fail. I'm back to a cooler. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that happened. Curious to know what type of fridge did you have? Ninth element. Um, Karen Boardman, thank you for being here. Good afternoon to you. Good afternoon to all the beautiful people who are here today. We are going to go over to uh, Nomadic Van Man. He's going to be going live.
right after my live. So we're going to do a melanomatic adventures raid there. And the send on Ben's Oregon event. Okay, I think I read that. So, um, Brandon, I appreciate you being here. Good to see you. And I hope you all have a great Sunday. Hope you all enjoyed the stream. We talked about a lot of things, I know. It's kind of unorganized, but, uh, you know, that's kind of how my life is. Uh, it might seem really organized. I try to be organized, but uh, the universe doesn't care about your plans. Uh, that's why it's important to be able to be adaptable, flexible, be able to pivot. Um, I think that's key. I am on the hunt for a fridge. If you missed my post on my community tab and would like to have some input on that, I would love to hear from you. Just go to my community tab, look for the post where it has a fridge pictured, and let me know in the comments. Um, so, Ford Man just dropped the link for um, nom Nomadic Van Man. He is going to be going live. I'm going to pin the link at the top of the chat here. And he will be going live right after me here in about three minutes. We're going to go over there. Ninth Element says that they got a mini fridge, but discovered that the DC ports in the car are not working. Also, I had air issues on my 500 watt battery. Again, I have no idea what I'm doing. And, you know, that's kind of where I was. And I've been through there, that exact same thing, because uh, not with the, you, the outlet not working or the port, but my mini fridge, that's what I got for the van. And... It's just not very efficient for the van. They make the 12 volt fridges with more insulation to be more efficient. Um, and Camping Therapy says, check out Honey I Roam. They just got a cooler fridge. Brandon, stay positive too, brother. Good to see you. Don't work too hard. Um, Larry, I appreciate when you do. Uh, when you can get to them. So yeah, the mini fridge wasn't a terrible idea if I had a big enough battery to run it. Um, I mean, I would need a large battery to run it. So that got me to researching a lot about efficiency of the fridge itself. And yeah, that's what I found out. They just don't make them with enough insulation because they're made to be inside where it's a uh, kind of temperature controlled environment. Also, with these other mini fridges that are 12 volt, like the medics and things, things like that, someone was mentioning, I think it was Char of Heart, said that even in really hot weather, like if your van is 100 degrees inside, the fridge isn't going to perform very well. So, you know, is that just the nature of the beast? I, I don't know. I'm still learning. Let me know. Go to the community tab. Find that post with the refrigerator picture on it. Uh, let me know your thoughts. Together, we can we can figure out the best solution. Now, I am uh, waiting on an email from Dometic. I did send them a proposal after first I reached out to them on Instagram and was able to get somebody to answer me back. And they sent me the email of the person in charge of their marketing. So then I emailed that person and they said, uh, I haven't heard from them yet. But the, the, the person I did talk to on Instagram said, give them about one or two weeks before I reach out again. So hoping that Dometic's going to say, hey, we want you to test this $1,300 <laughs> fridge. <laughs> but uh, I'm not holding my breath on that one, and I'm still continuing. So far, from what everyone's been saying, for like budget-friendly, which is what I'm on, um, I'm hearing people talk about the Alpicool. And welcome, Clark Adventures. Thanks for being here. Um, the Alpicool brand, and then also I've had some people recommend the Iceco. Iceco which you can get a cover for most of them, which the covers are supposed to help. I don't know. Um, thank you, Red, for dropping that fridge video. I'm going to be checking that out. That's great. You were able to, to reuse the fridge. So speaking of my mini fridge, I am going to be selling my mini fridge. So I paid $84 for my mini fridge, and that includes a three-year extended warranty if you have a place where you need a mini fridge it's a 1.7 cubic foot mini fridge by gallant email me let me know maybe at one of these meetups now i can't ship this but if you're going to be at one of the meetups branson mayberry or m21 email me and i'll bring the fridge with me because if not it's going in my storage until i can figure out and have time to sell it um Free is always best. Exactly. We have about 
no more minutes left. So thank you all. Have a great Sunday. We're going to do a Mellow Nomadic Adventures raid over to Nomadic Van Man. And I will see you all Wednesday. We're going to be talking about tools, what tools uh, I use to build this, and what tools you might want to consider just to have in your van. So 